Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu from within side Windows as a dual boot system using the Wubby installer. Uh, so, once you've inserted your disk into your system, uh, you go to your My Computer, assuming it doesn't auto launch, and you've got uh, the Ubuntu CD menu with three options. You can have a demo and full installation, uh, which basically just give you the option to reboot the machine and use the live system. You can install within Windows, which is the one we're going to want, and you can learn more. So we're going to head and cli uh, click this button. That should load the uh, Wubby installer. Okay, so here we go. You're about to install Ubuntu 8.4.1. Please select the username and password for the new account. So I'm going to head and uh, put that in. Uh, asking which drive. Uh, we're going for drive C, which is fine, and store the size. There we go. Desktop environment Ubuntu, and there we go. So click install, and that's just going to sit there and work now. So just let that run. You can see here it um, downloads a lot of files off the internet as well. Um, it should get them from the disk if you don't have an internet connection, but obviously you do because you're watching this video, so you see that it's going uh, relatively fast. This can take um, a few minutes, so make sure you've got yourself a cup of coffee or whatever you want, and uh, be prepared to wait. It doesn't take as long as a typical Windows installation, I'm glad to say, unless your computer is a very slow one. So uh, I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back to that when it's finished. Okay, so we've completed this step of the Ubuntu setup. Uh, we need to reboot the computer now and then it will boot into the Ubuntu side of things and the setup will continue from there. So just bear with me while I pause this and I'll show you how this is done. So here you go. This is the boot menu now. We've got Windows XP Professional or Ubuntu. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. And it's loading the grub boot men boot loader for Ubuntu. Okay, so once the uh, thing is booted up, it's going to go through its um, normal checking of installation stuff. So this is phase two of the Ubuntu installation, which again is going to take a little time. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause that again, and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so the installation is finished and it's going to restart itself now. And with a bit of luck, you should now have a fully working dual booting system of Ubuntu Linux and Windows XP. So we're just going to try this out. Here we go. Uh, let's see if Ubuntu works. Just doing its uh, pre boot stuff.